Good morning. Welcome to Kila Chari Torah's Halacha Review for Tuesday, November 3rd. We're uh, in the last uh, couple of points here about the bedtime Shema, nighttime Shema, saying Shema before you go to bed. A person who's not well does not have to say the entire Kriyat Shema Sha'al Hamita, which it says in the, uh, in the Siddur, only to say the first uh, Parsha of Kriyat Shema, Shema and Vahavta, and the Baracha Hamapil. Before one goes to sleep, he says in the name of Magin Avram, Ketzer Shachnarach, Mishnah Brura, uh, and Kaf Achayim and a couple of other uh, achronim, one should examine one's deeds and forgive anyone who has uh, wronged us in the course of the day. This is the source of the uh, nusach, of the prayer that it says, Rabbonu Shalolam, it says, I forgive everybody who may have offended me and I hope that others uh, forgive me and uh, I'm nobody's, uh, nobody comes to punishment on my account. Uh, you say this to it says, while standing, some have the custom to kiss the mezuzah before they go to sleep. Rav Moshe Feinstein had a custom to kiss the mezuzah one time before he went to sleep. So if you want to follow that, now you know. Uh, other halach is about uh, going to sleep. When going to sleep, what's the kavana? What's the intention? What should one uh, direct one's mind to? Uh, the goal of sleeping is to strengthen our bodies to serve Hashem better. Uh, if you do this, then sleeping itself becomes a mitzvah. Uh, one should not sleep more than necessary or less than necessary. We have two authorities here. Uh, Rambam Hilchas Deus and uh, uh, Ve'en Lamo Michsho. Is that right? No. Yeah. Uh, one says don't, it's, uh, don't sleep more. One uh, emphasizes not to sleep less than necessary. Rambam holds you should sleep for eight hours. And practically speaking, of course, we know that depends on an individual's constitution and health. Uh, you know how much sleep you need. Uh, you're not uh, doing anybody any favors by getting less. In the, at the beginning of the night, you, it's, uh, Rambam says in Hilchas Day, asleep on the left side, and at the end of the night on the right side. Medically, this position is preferable because the body gets more rest. Apparently, the lungs work better. Uh, Kafa Chaim writes that sleeping on the left side helps for a lot of reasons. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, Gezel Shena, the term for, a commonly term, used term for waking someone else, is called Gezel Shena. That's a, a commonplace term. It means literally stealing sleep. Someone's asleep, and you, uh, when you wake them up, and you don't have to, that's called gezel shena. Uh, there's no such phrase in halacha, he maintains. It may be called hezek shena, damage is caused. Sam Sofer would walk around uh, his uh, house without shoes on in the morning so as not to wake anybody up uh, who was sleeping. So just as we know how much we need our own sleep and how important it is to get a proper night's sleep, we should show respect, extend every courtesy to others who are sleeping, make sure they get what they need also. Have a wonderful day. Please join us again tomorrow.